Why aren't Dynamo, Electric, and Electros part water type? I remember people asking this all the time. I mean, you find Dynamo in Seaside Cave and the Jirachi Sea, and Electros's very first Pokedex entry states they crawl out of the ocean using their arms. They will attack prey on shore and then immediately drag it into the ocean. So yeah, they come on land, but they live in the ocean. Like, uh, wait, uh, 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 uh. And as we all know, all oceanic Pokemon are totally always water type. But like they are eels, fish, water. And it's incredibly obvious why they are electric type. I mean, that one's name is literally stinking electric. But also, they are primarily inspired by the famous electric eel, which uses bioelectrogenesis to echolocate and shock its prey with up to 600 volts of electricity and eats the prey while it's stunned. It's almost like a real Pokemon. We have other videos about how this works, so we won't get into the science here, but Tynamo specifically is likely inspired by other electric things. Its shape, combined with the yellow wiggly stripe on the side, makes it reminiscent of a Geissler tube and a Crook's tube, both of which were used to study various aspects of electricity all the way back in ye olden days of the mid to late 1800s. I mean, heck, the entire idea of maybe electrons are a thing was discovered using the first Crook's tubes. And the wobbliness of Tynamo's fin flap thingies and it being bright white also makes it look like a sky fish or a rod phenomenon. Back in the old days, the same time period that these tubes were in use, you could take a picture and sometimes there would be these bright, long, and skinny wobbly flappy things flying through the air. Conspiracy theorists claimed that they were proof of UFOs, lightning ghosts, or magical cryptids, or something of the like. But later studies discovered that it was just generic insect wings flapping, and due to the long exposure times of old cameras, it captured the light bouncing off of the wings as it flew, so you got the whole flight path of it in the shot. So it's just like there was a big moth flying by while the picture was being taken. It's called a lightning ghost, or a sky fish, kind of like the always hovering Tynamo, eh? But even Skyfish has fish in the name, so why isn't it water type? The latter two are visually based on lamprey, even, which are aquatic jawless fish that use their horrifying toothy, tunnely maw to bore into a prey's flesh and suck their blood. Like a vampiric marine vacuum. And this is also what several of Electros Pokedex entries mentions it doing. Eels, however, don't do that. They have regular mouths. Well, they're still kind of creepy looking, but you know, they're more regular mouths. They are what happens if you take a lamprey and give it the powers of an electric eel. After all, while the latter two are more so lamprey, Tynamo, along with being inspired by all those electrical things mentioned earlier, is also a leptocephalus, which is a fancy name for the larval stage of the true eels and other closely related animals. They're very flat and whitish clear and small. And actually, since it had all of those other electric inspirations, I guess we could say the long, smooth, slender, and dark bodies of electric and electros are potentially also inspired from just the electrical cables, especially the big industrial inner city ones and those big dark black ones that are long and hovering over the road. But here's a stupid fact. So Tynamo, an eel larva. Cool. And then it evolves into what is a lamprey which is not an eel, but it's a lamprey that is also part electric eel, so, so that's fine. Electric eel are also not eels. <laughs> they are named wrong. Stinking lamprey are more closely related to sharks than they are to eels. And the electric eel is actually a knife fish, which are more closely related to catfish than they are to eels. And they have them squiggly fins just like Tynamo. And the best part, they don't even breathe water using gills or anything. They breathe air like you and me. That doesn't doesn't feel very water type to me, barring a few outliers. But just because something lives in the water doesn't mean it has to be water type or have water type abilities. And plus, the pros of it being mono-electric far outweigh the pros and cons of it being electric water. The Electros line is, even eight generations in, the only line of Pokémon to possess zero weaknesses. And this is only possible by both being mono-electric type, meaning it only has one weakness, ground, and having the levitate ability which makes it immune to ground-type attacks. They're just floating around, minding their own business like all those skyfish, being all tough. It really is an electric boss, Electros. 
even its Japanese name, Shibirudon, ends in Don, which is Spanish and Italian for Lord, and is often used to refer to mob bosses. Mob bosses are tough and hard to get. That's why it took so long to arrest Al Capone. He was too good at legally protecting himself that even though he was a known mob boss, they couldn't actually do anything to him, for a long while anyway. It's the same story with this not an eel, and that's way cool. So now, question for you. What other Pokemon have types or do not have types that you do not fully understand? Let me know down below, and maybe we'll cover it. And until next time, you never stop using your noggin.